and I'm with the World Bank Group's Infidev program. Together with our donors from the governments of Finland, Norway, and Sweden, and our implementing partners, IMC Worldwide, DC for Africa, Kultai & Co., we've launched Excel Africa, a pan-African acceleration program targeted at companies trying to raise Series A funding between $250,000 to $1.5 million. This is a very important initiative for the World Bank because we are trying to prove that there are competitive African companies who are investable and ready. It's very important to realize that this program does not take an equity stake, and so we've gone to great lengths to ensure that companies are exposed to world-class investors who are interested in the African continent. Uh, we selected 20 companies out of thousands, so you, you can imagine how hard it was to compete for this Excel Africa competition. But I'm very, very proud of the results. In my opinion, this is the future of Africa. Those are the African stars, and I'm very grateful for the World Bank and for all our donors for support of this program. As you can see, Cape Town, where we are for our two-week residency, is absolutely spectacularly beautiful. Um, unfortunately, we only get to go outside infrequently. Most of the time, we're in back-to-back -back meetings, most of it with investors who are looking at some of Sub-Saharan Africa's most promising investable companies. Had such a good experience at Excel Africa, been able to learn quite a lot. But I think definitely what was really important for us was really the platform being able to see quite a number of investors. And it's been really fun, the team's been really great. It's been such a privilege to be part of the Excel program. Uh, we've met so many great uh, companies and forged really wonderful relationships, learned a lot, and are looking forward to growing over the next uh, little while. First of all, our role was to recruit the startups for Excel Africa. As VC4A, as the platform, we have a database of over 10,000 startups from 45 African markets. At the same time, we have a network of investors whom we could go to and ask for referrals. This program was different from any other accelerator or incubator on the continent because it was targeting startups really later stage. So the ideal candidates for us were perhaps startups who already been part of the uh, local accelerator and incubator program, who have raised funding before, and who have a tangible traction and already uh, making revenue and hopefully profit as well. Working virtually over the past few months, it's been really interesting to get to know the entrepreneurs in person here in Cape Town, and they've formed a really great bond. Most importantly though, we've capitalised on the great mentorship that they've had over the past few months, and we've added to this with really interesting content sessions, and they're now all raring to go and pitch at the events across the residency. So what I've loved about Excel Africa in the past two weeks is just meeting other entrepreneurs that are in the same struggle as me, um, but also getting a pool to quality investors that really understand the African market um, and being able to connect with uh, partners, corporate partners, and other people that we can use in building our build teams. We really see Excel Africa as a platform for attracting more capital and more interest in the African markets uh, from Europe, from North America, the Middle East, uh, and certainly from across the African continent. So this is, uh, this is absolutely exciting. It's never been done before. Yeah, we, we, we see a lot of great things coming from, uh, from, from this program. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Have a great one. Thank you.